What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. Today I'm going to be talking about the Novation Circuit, specifically what I and other members of the community would love to see in a Novation Circuit 2, should Novation choose to ever make such a thing. There have been rumors floating around of a Circuit 2, absolutely nothing definitive as far as I've seen, and Novation has been updating some of their other products and releasing new editions, so there's a non-zero possibility that we'll have a circuit too, but once again, nothing definitive, so this is all just kind of wishing, speculation. But regardless, hopefully Novation devs, if you're seeing this, hopefully you at least take a few of these suggestions, play around with them, see if they're workable. I'm going to start off talking about stuff that I personally would really like to see in a circuit too, and then also I asked the question on the Novation Circuit Users Facebook group what other people would like to see, and I'm going to run through some of those as well. So the first thing, the number one thing I would love to see in a Circuit 2 is USB audio out, much like the MC-101. The Roland MC-101 has a USB port, much like the Circuit does, but this allows the Groovebox to work like an audio interface, where if you plug this into your computer via USB and load up your DAW, you can do live jamming and have it record separately all four tracks of audio, which is lovely. So you can arrange a song on the fly by doing a proper live jam, and then take those tracks that are recorded separately and mix them. So it allows you to achieve a whole new level of polish and professionalism that you can't quite get on the circuit. You can definitely do some really polished, professional sounding stuff on the circuit. I've pushed it well to and past its limits, but this would be something that would take it to the next level. Another thing I'd love to see in a Circuit 2, or maybe a Circuit Pro, that's been another idea that's been floating around, is another synth track. You can get a pretty full mix using just the two synth tracks, especially if you have polyphonic patches, but having a third one would be really nice. That way you could have a dedicated track for bass, a dedicated track for chords and pads and plucks and that kind of thing, and then a dedicated track for leads. Right now, you have to have at least one of the two patches pulling double duty for a lot of kinds of music, or you go with a more minimalist approach, which I really don't mind. More minimalist layering means that it's easier to mix and easier to master and easier to get a nice punchy track. However, having three layers, especially coupled with USB audio interface capabilities would really take this to another level. I imagine that would force the circuit to get bigger, maybe quite a bit bigger. I'm not sure of the technology and the constraints involved there, so that might be something reserved for a Circuit Pro, but that's something that would be really cool to see. Another aspect of the Circuit that I and a lot of others would love to see some updates to is its handling of samples. It's already pretty powerful. You can already add effects to samples, EQ, we've got sample flip, and a whole bunch of capabilities there, but a few things we'd love to see added chromatic sample pitching, whether we could arrange it on the pads as a keyboard, which would unlock whole new layering capabilities. Maybe that's what your third synth track becomes, just chromatic sample playing, so you could load in one shots of synths and go from there, that would be awesome. Or maybe at least have a way to lock the pitch knob to some kind of grid. Some people would like to see more sample processing stuff, such as reversing, bit crushing, adding grain, changing where the start of the sample is. So you could say cut off the beginning a ways. And one thing that someone mentioned that I would really like to see is the ability to record samples directly into the circuit via like some audio input that isn't currently there. That would put its sampling ability and kind of immediacy in league with stuff that Teenage Engineering's been doing, like the OP-1 or some of the pocket operators. One thing I've seen a number of times as well, and this isn't a huge deal for me, but it is worth mentioning, a lot of people want to see a metronome added. Right now, the way to get a metronome is to just use up one of the drum tracks and get like a cowbell or a hi-hat or something and then program it in to do four on the floor and then once you've recorded in enough rhythmic elements, just swap that out for something else. For me, that's really not a big deal. I don't mind doing that, but a metronome would be cool and would save a step. So let's see what else we've got here. We've got more talk about more outputs, similar to the USB idea, more layers. Conditional triggers is one I've seen 
mentioned a few times. So using probability and such. This person said double everything. That would definitely be more a Circuit Pro than a Circuit 2, which would be cool, but I personally would be reluctant to give up the Circuit's extreme portability because I really like taking this thing places to make music. Some folks have said a small screen. I kind of disagree with this one personally. I really like the lack of screen and the fact that the pads are the screen. One of my major complaints with the 101 is that you spend too much time staring at this dinky little screen and it gets in the way for me. So that one's something that some people have put out there. I could definitely see it being useful, especially if a Circuit 2 or Pro could do more patch design directly on here without needing to connect with anything. Then I could see it being super useful and I'd be all about it. But other than that, for me personally, I'd rather continue without a screen. This person has a few pretty cool suggestions that I don't know how practical they are to implement, but are pretty dope. FM synthesis, uh, drum synthesis, and custom wavetable importing. That would be awesome. So if you could make wavetables and say serum and then bring them in, that would be sick. That would really unlock the circuit for heavy bass music. A couple other things I've seen mentioned, I've seen patch flip mentioned which you can kind of do if you just switch between sessions, which is already super useful and powerful, but patch flip, if that's even possible, would be cool. And then another thing I've seen is uh, pitch bend suggested, which you can kind of fake if you assign one of the macros on a synth to control pitch within a range. You can fake that, but having it be dedicated, that would be nice for me personally. That's not a huge deal, but it would be cool. And that, as far as I can tell, is the list of at least the most popular suggestions, including my opinions on them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, something a little different for this channel. And Novation Devs, if you're watching, uh, I do want to say, as is no secret, I adore this thing. And thank you for all the free updates that have made this thing even more powerful. Hopefully these suggestions are at least helpful. And if you're a member of the circuit user community, let me know down in the comments if there are any things that you'd like to see that I missed or just what you thought of this video in general. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit. Peace.